forward. Can they, can they convince Congress to do something that they haven't been able to convince Congress to do so far, which is pass a very big must-pass piece of legislation that hasn't really worked out on health care and other big issues? Yeah, it would definitely be a challenge for them. As you said, they've not gotten Congress to do anything, even though they often tell Congress how to do their jobs. It's not likely that this would be any easier for them. But this is a really big issue. What are they going to do next for this? And what if Congress doesn't pass this legislative fix for these people? Because the president has said he wants them to have, he wants to have heart for them, he wants them to rest easy, and that he loves these dreamers. But He's basically telling Congress, anything, now you have heart. Uh, right. you know, I tried to have heart on this, now it's your turn. Because he doesn't want it to fall on his shoulders that he made this decision, because he wants it both ways. He wants to be able to say that he followed through on his campaign promise, but he also doesn't want to deport these people who were brought here as children. So he's really backed into a corner here. And Ron, Ron they don't really have, uh, not, not everybody has heart up on Capitol Hill. We've learned that over the years, I guess. Look, the history here is instructive and maybe predictive of how this is going to unfold. You know, sometimes critics say, why did President Obama protect the Dreamers through executive action? Well, he only did that after legislative action failed with a Republican-led Senate filibuster. The legislation to permanently legalize the Dreamers actually did pass the House in December of 2010, and then it got 55 votes in the Senate, but 36 of the 39 Senate Republicans and five Democrats joined in a filibuster that stopped it. Those voting against the bill included Paul Ryan in the House and Lindsey Graham and John McCain in the Senate. And what, they, what, what, what the opponents argued, either, like Jeff Sessions, they argued this was an amnesty bill and they opposed it, or if they supported some action for the Dreamers, they said it had to be coupled with steps on enforcement that were unacceptable to Democrats. And you could, Jim, easily imagine that happening again with Republicans demanding either funding for the wall or other steps that Democrats would not accept. And this miring into Stelma, even though every public poll, and I'm aware of four of them, have found that two-thirds of the public overall and a slight majority of Republicans say they do support permanent legal status for the Dreamers. It sounds like more heartburn than heart uh, in store for Capitol Hill.